Looking for a whoop you can fly all day, every day, anywhere? Well, stay tuned because I think we found it. G'day you absolute legend, Stu from UAV Futures here, back with another drone review. Today what we're going to be looking at is a Whoop that I think we have all been waiting for. It is the Mobula 8. We've got a couple of different versions and these bads right here besides uh, having some leaves and stuff stuck to them because I've been flying around having some fun are the Whoops we've been waiting for. They fly great. You're going to see exactly why I like them. They're not going to break the bank. I think check the link down below but it might be... 130 bucks or something like that. I'll put a picture on the screen anyway, but a great bargain whoop that is definitely not pulling any punches. So we're gonna be screaming around, having some fun with it, putting it on the bench, breaking it down, looking at the text and the specs, talking about who should get it, where you can fly it, what you can do with it, the pros, the cons, all that sort of stuff. And most importantly, going out, ripping around and having some fun, showing you some flight footage. So if you're in the market for a new whoop, you want a bit of a 2023 upgrade, you're just looking for a fun little drone to fly, Stay tuned because I think you're going to get a fair bit out of this video. So first things off the bat, you can notice I've got two versions. They are a little bit different. Both of mine are Express LRS. There's a whole bunch of different receivers and those sorts of things, but check the links down below for the one that's compatible for you. But the big difference between these two, one uh, is a has a little walk snail VTX in here, so you can get some digital action if you've got some walk, walk snail goggles. But the one I'm going to be focusing on, because even though I prefer digital, the one I'm going to be showing you today uh, some footage of is this analog bad boy right here because I would guess 90% of the hobby still has a pair of analog goggles. It would be a fairly limited amount who have the new walk snail goggles out here. So we're going to be mainly focusing on the analog version right here. So as an overview, let's stick it on the scales. Turn these bad boys on right here. Got some fantastic stickers. Thank you very much uh, for those live stream family members who sent them over. It says it's coming <laughs> at 0 0.042 uh, kilograms, which uh, for those of you in freedom units, I'm not exactly sure. Let's change the units right here. You know, 42 grams. But just to make sure, oh, look at that. It's actually 44 grams on the scales. Uh, the analog version right here, it, sorry, the digital version right here, that's coming in at 48 grams. So a couple of grams heavier, but trust me, the image you're gonna get off here, if you're lucky enough to have some walk snail goggles in a whoop size, you're gonna absolutely love it. Uh, what it's made for, I guess in part of that overview, it's a tiny little ducted drone sticking with the whoop series. It can fly 1S or 2S, uh, which means it's great because you can fly it around indoor Maybe if you've got a small apartment or something like that, you want to set up a little racetrack under some tables, or if you want to take it out, which you're going to see ripping it around the property, you can still have a lot of fun with this, and you should also get some pretty decent uh, flight times. Uh, speaking about that 1 or 2S, this is one part where on the box right here, and this kind of pisses me off, please, uh, if you're watching this happy model, they're the guys who make it. Uh, it really should have the voltages printed on the box. So uh, it'd be, because it's got a little XT30, it would be more than easy, it would be very easy, I guess, to plug in like a 3S pack or a 4S pack if you didn't know what you're doing. So this should go out to all all manufacturers. Put the voltage specs on the, on the box, please. You're gonna save some people uh, some heartache out there. Anyway. So we're gonna be flying it around on 2S today. Let's have a look at some of the components. We've got some tiny little gem fan props on the outside, of course. We've got our little four-in-one uh, flight controller in the middle, it's rock and beta flight, which is pretty standard stuff nowadays. If you don't know what that is, check some playlists down below. But look, it flies really well. That's the part uh, we should say. I've got Express LRS. It was pretty easy to set up. Let me know if you need any instructions. I just had to put in my bind phrase. Bob's your uncle. You are off to the races. Um, and then I think it's, is it the ant cam on the top, I believe? Check the links down below anyway. I'll put a picture on the screen of exactly what the cam is. It's given back a nice, clear, colorful picture. And yeah, all in all, it's a, it's a little pocket rocket. You're gonna be having a lot of fun with this. Now to the designer thing, I think it does it really well. It's compact, it's light, it's got plenty of pop, it flies around, you get good flight times. It's just an awesome, easy to fly, fun and easy to have fun with whoop. So on the bench, uh, that's about it for the whoop stuff. Let's go out and fly around and have a look at some of the fun things I should say as well. The price, one, 130 uh, freedom units. I think it's like 160 Aussie or something like that. Check the links anyway, prices could have changed. But uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's go rip around and find out why this is a fantastic choice whoop. Uh, if you're looking for a bit of an upgrade in 2023 or you just want something you're getting into the hobby, you want something fun you can cruise around with. So let's do it in three, two, one. 
Radio, here we go, cruising around, having some fun, and straight off the bat, I want to say this. It's an absolute pleasure to fly. It is so easy. There's no oscillations and you're not trying to fight the drone to do things against its will or anything like that. It kind of does exactly what you want it to do. You move the sticks in a nice gentle way and it responds accordingly. It is a very, dare I say, easy to fly, fun to fly, almost relaxing style of uh, cruising around with this drone. It's tuned perfectly. And yeah, I've got, to, I've got to say, cruising these things around with some mates, you could fly it anywhere. You'd be having a lot of fun. Fun. Now, some things I would change, which uh, are kind of bugging me here a little bit, like you don't need the temperature and the RSSI and all that sort of stuff on the screen. I would probably, I think the OSD is probably a little bit too crowded, but this is how it comes by default. That's fairly easy to turn it off. The colors are pretty decent in the camera as well. It's a nice sort of vibrant, happy picture, even better. Uh, we'll see if we can do a follow-up with the digital um, one. So if you do get the digital, you're lucky enough to have the walks now. You're going to be very spoiled. The props on here. They're great with the guard props as well. Crashed into the barbecue. <laughs> Didn't think anything about it. Bounced off. Kept flying. Uh, you're not going to be winning any races, I guess, a long term with this thing. It doesn't have insane speed. It's not made for crazy freestyle. It's just, hey, do you want a fun drone? Do you want to learn to fly? Do you want to have some fun? Do you want to fly around a whoop uh, that's not going to hurt anyone or endanger anyone? Um, you get pretty decent flight times, depending on what sort of battery you can put in here. Take a 1S flight around inside and... Yeah, I think uh, Happy Model is really onto something with the Mob 8. If I had to start on a drone like this, this, this is probably the drone uh, I would get my daughter to start learning to fly on because it's fun, it's easy, it's uh, responsive on the sticks in a way that you don't have to fight it. It's not like a crazy muscle car where you're trying not to spin the wheels out or anything. It's just a really cool, fun little cruiser whoop for indoor and outdoor. Plus, it's safe. It's not going to bug anyone. It's got some props. Oh, I can see my battery hanging out there in the shadow. I only just noticed that as well. So even with a hanging battery, see if you can check it out in the shadows, it's still flying uh, pretty well. Maybe I need to uh, get a bit of a bigger pack or something to put in there. So all in all, let's jump back to the studio, talk about the pros and cons, and find out if this is the right drone for you. So let's do that. I think we see the dog. Uh, he was very chuffed with himself. He sort of looked like, yep, finally caught it. Yep, there it is. Uh, he was doing a good job there chasing it around. Alrighty, so there it is. There's my review or flight of the Mobula 8 from Happy Model and we'll talk about the pros and the cons and then do I recommend it, what I love about it, all that sort of stuff. So pros, it flies great, it feels like it's very responsive. I love you can put 1S or 2S on there. It's got protected props. You can see me bounce off I think in one of those flights, hopefully it was the one I chose for this uh, video, bouncing off things. I think when I was under the veranda, those sorts of things. Um, you could fly it around indoors. I'd be more than happy to let my daughter try to fly this. It could be a great beginner drone if you want to learn. It's not going to upset anybody. It's definitely not going to break the bank. It's got a fantastic price uh, point. Some things that I don't like, well, they're pretty few and far between. So number one, and these are very easy to fix things, I guess. Uh, we've got an XT30 on here, but not everyone is going to have, like I've got some batteries here. These are probably a little bit too small for it. These are 350 2S packs with an XT30 connector on the end. Uh, they're from Race Day Quads. Great little battery, great company. Check them out. That link will be down below. But that's what I flew around with for a lot. But also, I do have a lot of these 1S packs. And somewhere around here, um, I should say, you do get a little adapter. Uh, in some of the spares somewhere. Bear with me editing. You know, I've got this little adapter right here and I'm 99% sure that came with it, but uh, I'm pretty sure this came with it, but this little adapter right here, you know, it's great for connecting your 1S packs. However, uh, I would love for Happy Model to include a little cable that also let you put two of these, I guess, in series so you could make a 2S pack to cruise around because I think that's the perfect weight for it. These batteries slide in perfectly. However, I don't have, it doesn't come natively with a way to connect up a 2S, two individual little packs easily. So that's probably what I would change. Other than that, look, I think you've absolutely smashed it out of the pack, out of the pack, out of the park. Too much battery talk. I think it's a great drone, great price. Uh, definitely can recommend it. Happy Model been in the hobby for a long time. They killed it in like a couple of years ago when they did the mob, was it the Mob 5? Is that how far we're going back? Or the Mobs? I think it was the Mobula 5. And it was one of the fastest swoops for its time. It was a, like, it was a, it was an absolute speed demon. This right here 
This is just a fun little whoop that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy. And if you're lucky enough to have a digital version, well, you're going to be very, very, very spoiled. Anyway, look, that's it on the bench. The uh, Mobula 8 from Happy Model, a big thumbs up. You can check all the stats on the screen. Check the link down below. Subscribe for more FPV-related content. And as always, happy flying.